Well, it's Saturday. You know what that means. It's time to check in with our friends at Humane Ohio. The shelter has lots of kittens right now. In fact, one, li one litter can have up to nine kittens. Laura Simmons work of Humane Ohio joins us right now to talk about how we can help these cute animals in need. Laura, thanks for joining us. Who do we have with us? Good morning. So we have a little guy. His name is Preston and he he wasn't so sure about being on TV this morning. So he's wrapped up in what we call a burrito. So it's like a burrito, but it's with <laughs> a purring cat inside. Um, <laughs> He's about four to five months old, and he and his litter mate, Parker, are looking for home. So, yeah, he's a really sweet guy. He's a buff-colored little kitty here. He's very playful. Like I said, he's, he was a little shy this morning, but he's coming out of his shell. So. <laughs> Perfect. And so uh, we just mentioned that there is a lot of kittens right now. How many kittens does Humane Ohio have since it is kitten season? Absolutely. So we have close to 90 in our adoption program right now. So we are, we're primarily a spay and neuter clinic. So we try to prevent all those unwanted litters to before they're even born. And then we did start an adoption program a few years ago because we saw that, you know, in this area, all the shelters are, are typically full. And there is a huge need. So we are a foster based adoption program, which means that we rely heavily on foster homes. So if anybody is interested in becoming a foster, we provide all the supplies, medical care, everything, and you just need to provide the love until these guys find their forever home. 90 is a lot. Is this normal for, you know, this time of year? Is this the most you've had all year? Yeah, absolutely. This is the highest we've had all year. And we have calls coming in every single day about, you know, people looking to surrender cats and kittens. It's just crazy. As I know, all the shelters across the area are right now. So we're really trying to, you know, nip it in the bud by getting animals spay and neutered. But just because the whole past year has been so crazy, we've been so backed up with surgeries. Um, we're, we're doing our very best, but it, it's been very stressful. So we, we try to, you know, we rely on our community support with donations and adoptions and, you know, even things like kitten food and cat food and litter right now goes a really long way. <laughs> Absolutely. And you kind of mentioned it there, helping out. How can we help out other than, you know, adopting and fostering these kittens? Yeah. So if you're not able to adopt or foster and maybe your pet is already fixed right now, like I said, we're looking for donations of cat, cat and kitten food and litter currently at the moment, um, as well as food scales go a long way. We weigh all the little kittens before they're, you know, big enough to get fixed and go up officially for adoption. And we do also do something fun once a week. It's called $5 Friday. So every Friday we bring you a really fun item on our Facebook page and people can make a donation of $5 or more. It gets their name in the drawing to win that item. So it's kind of just a fun way because fundraising looks different at this time, time right now. Yeah, exactly. And so we've also, you kind of meant, uh, hit on it a little bit. You've been backed up. I heard there was a vet shortage. So can you talk about how that's affecting you all at Humane Ohio? Absolutely. So we used to have four full-time vets on staff. And over the past about year and a half, we did lose two as they moved away to be closer to family. So we currently have two full-time vets and a few relief vets that come in. So our, our schedule is very crazy right now. We're currently booking out into like December and January. So we know that that is not ideal for a lot of people. So we appreciate everybody's patience. And, you know, we rely so heavily on the community support to be able to provide low cost, you know, affordable and accessible span neuter to our community as well as 11 different counties around the area. So. We appreciate everybody's patience. We've got a nationwide search right now to bring some more veterinarians on staff. It's just, it's a unique time right now. We never thought we would be facing this, but we are. So as we know, a lot of people are facing, you know, shortages with staffing right now. Awesome. Well, thanks so much, Laura and Preston for joining us today and telling us how we can help Humane Ohio. Absolutely. Thank you guys. Have a great day.